hi guys so today let's do a video showing you our apartment airbnb so this is a house to a welcome in that's the front door i just walked in there's a fire extinguisher there and as you walk in on your right hand side there is a bathroom this is a guest bathroom they hang a towel there for you they change towels very often there's a trash can and there is a sink there and water is every day available here so water is not a problem so there's a mirror there and you can see my eyebrows <laughs> so that's our guest bathroom which we don't really use it so as you walk in on that side you find darren and you find nyla and that's our living room yeah so this is our living room very simple and clear then nothing much nothing nyla pause it pause the tv so that's the living room as you can see nyla pause the tv please no pause it just pause it so that's the living room we are go doing house tour let's show guys our house darren is having a sandwich and nut nutella 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 sandwich uh the only thing i don't like is the tv is too small like it doesn't make sense why are you like the owner of this house why give such a small tv to your guest and you know it's it's not it doesn't make sense it's a very tiny tv i i mean if you're doing airbnb just give a good tv you know good size uh well no hating or anything maybe that's what he started with or that's what he feels but anyway the curtain so in this house they're keeping it um brown mostly as you can see the curtains are brown and also the couches are brown <laughs> Uh, very nice coffee table I like, I must say. There's Wi-Fi available, so you come to the kitchen, and also the dining room is brown. You can see they're matching everything, even the lamp. The and there, you can see the dining. This will look like the one I have in Arizona, so oh, kind of close. So that's the dining. They uh, they also put some really cute table mats, simple and clear. That's the dining table. As you can see also, that's the, uh, we can use this as a dining area. That's the water thing. And you can see these are the cabin, the cabinets, you know, there's a lot of cabinets. The kitchen is really wide. You can eat here too. But on this space, they offer only one chair. If anybody want to see. <laughs> And everybody want to sit there, you can sit. These are our stuff. We put our things on top there. So don't worry about the mess. When you rent the apartment, it doesn't come with all these things on top. That's Betty's job. So that's the kitchen. That's how the kitchen is. They offer uh, sufferias. And as I say, there's somebody who comes to clean every day. So when you get these apartments, you don't clean for yourself. You don't mow for yourself and clean the dishes because they do it themselves. I mean, there's uh, workers here. Uh, okay, those are, those are the, that, that's food leftovers. I need to put away my, my stuff are all over the place. The fridge comes like that which is good and it's a good size there's a microwave so you can see my shopping as we live here so we eat here because we live here <clears throat> you can see i bought milk this one is frozen when i went to mombasa i left this milk here frozen that's how milk in kenya looks like yeah and uh the microwave is right there cabinets are really good and spacious and and really good size of cabinets you can see I mean, there's storage places, plenty, plenty of them. I'm not going to open them. They offer a trash can there. And also, as you walk out the door, you find another room. So this is a washing area. If you're doing laundry, you just do your laundry over here. That's what they offer. As I said, they, there's water the whole time. Just need to open that. And there's water. Electricity doesn't go away. I believe they have generators, backup generators that keeps you, yeah. So, as you walk in, so this is the washing area. As you go in here, there's another room, which is a DSQ, like a 
servant quarter they call this a no, servant quarter or an extra room if you have a guest you can use this room for your guest so myself i don't have guests that are sleeping over and if they do sleep over we are sleeping in the main house and this is the closet for the servant quarter with the tsq yeah i like i love these cabinets i mean closets the closets are really tall and nice very nice very good very nice so the dsq person doesn't share the room with you so you can rent it out if you live here permanently you can rent this out or you can use it for your house manager and just open the door out they don't need to share the door with you if it's someone who is renting that's the bathroom shower hot water is there it's provided i'll show you where the boiler is as you can see there's a toilet and a towels uh here they don't really the lady is not cleaning here much because nobody's sleeping here it's like we just have an extra room we don't need but i'm just gonna leave the door open because it's a little dumpy in there like uh, a cup of fresh we need some fresh air in there uh which is good and also the main house i'll leave the main house door open for some fresh air too as you can see uh okay back to the house you find Darren and Nyla, they are still here. They haven't moved out. You can drink tap water. They say Nairobi water is clean. I don't trust it. I'm just buying water. For some reason, I'm having, my stomach is not agreeing to most of the things. I'm having some diarrhea. I'm sorry to say that on the video. Maybe you're eating, but my stomach is messed up, messed up. Like even at the hotel, my, my stomach was messed up the whole time. So this is the boiler, as you can see, it's so big. And one thing I don't like about this boiler is when we are taking a shower, we have to turn it on like 30 minutes or 40 minutes before shower. Otherwise, the water will be cold. Yeah. So it uh, here we have a meter. We have to, to load the stock and electricity. We have to load, as you can see, it's 23 right now. When we left for Mombasa, it was 34. And let me tell you one thing I don't understand is why this token is taking too much electricity. I mean, I mean this uh, boiler. Anytime we turn it on, it just takes electricity like, like crazy. I think it's because of this is the is it my old, old kind. What, this boiler is, is taking steamer. It's taking electricity like crazy, consuming electricity. Not taking, but just consuming, consuming. I, I don't think that's a right thing to put for your guest. Because honestly speaking, it just consumes your tokens like crazy. Since we, since we moved here, we've been loading it up so much. So, so much. We've been loading like this at that time. That's Nyla. Say hi. Say hi to guys. We've been loading electricity. So that's, those are Darren's shoes right there. He has closet, which we don't hang clothes. As I said today, our laundry is being done. So the lady is doing laundry. And she's going to bring them ironed. And you see, she's, the lady will bring their clothes back ironed. Thank you, Mama. Go eat. She will bring them back ironed. You know, every time they work for you, they iron it. So... Let me show you each bed. Each bedroom has is uh, in suit. You can see there is a bathroom there for Darren. This is Darren's room, and you can see he's just showered there. Mommy. Uh, he showers there. Mommy. Wait a minute. Darren, Darren brought all the soaps from the hotel, or what is that? What is that? Heritage. He he he. He what? Ali Baba Sabuni is a hotel. Hey, Darren. Yeah. Oh my goodness, that's so funny. I didn't even realize he carried the soaps. And this is a, a black curtain to to give Dana some privacy. If you take a shower in here, you have to close this. Yeah? For what? To give Dana some privacy. Why does he need privacy? Why do people need privacy? Because that's bad manners. When you see them, it's bad manners? Do you need privacy, you? Uh, Pandana? Mm -hmm. uh, no, because he's my older brother. <laughs> Does he need privacy from you? Yeah. Why? Because 
Because he always gonna tell mommy. Because he's a teenager and he's big, yeah? Yeah. Okay, so that's Dada's shower. That's her brother's shower. You have seen it. It looks mommy, good. Is that a sleeping right here? That's his bed. Is that sleeping on this side? Yeah. And who's sleeping on this side? Dad. No, he has to have one spot. His spot is both spot. He he loves it. He loves the whole bed. He has his Mommy. open. The reason I decided to get a uh, Airbnb is because we had received offers to be somebody offering us to host us. But guys, me, I don't want to bother people when I come to Kenya. So this room doesn't have a Mommy, um, the mosquito net. But main master bedroom has a mosquito net. As you can see, that's how the mosquito net is. You can fold it. We don't really need it. You know, there are no mosquitoes in this place, yeah? So there's a light there, and there's a light on the side. There's a light there, and there are lights on this side. Yeah, you can see. If you want to light up. Oh, let me <coughs> hold the curtain, the camera properly. So. So, guys, look at the curtain. That's how the lights are. This is a, it's called mosquito net. It's to keep mosquitoes away, Naila. Okay? Okay. Yeah, that's the master bed. I don't like the mattress. Honestly, that's one thing. I'll tell you the good and the bad. The mattresses here, but, they but are the a, a little bit uncomfortable. So here. if you come in... Mommy, hmm? the mosquitoes can go under here. The mosquitoes can go under there. Why? No, they can come through the net. If you don't put the curtain, the mosquitoes will come. So those are my stuff, yeah? I bought some stuff at the airport, yeah. Anyway, what I mean is the mattress, honestly, mommy, I have... You didn't Hey, can I do the video? Can I do the video today? Yeah. Please give me time. Two minutes I finish the video. My mouth. I was too nice until you started. I love this one. The partners. Anyway, guys, what I'm saying is I complained to the to the Airbnb people and I told them about this mattress. It's really super uncomfortable. Like Oh my god, I don't know what they call them. That guy said they are, I don't know what kind of mattress is that, but to me, uh uh, no, that doesn't work like that. Because honestly speaking, the mattress is it's like you're sleeping on a on just a. I'm just giving my review, I'm not saying the Airbnbs are bad. No, these Airbnbs are good, but I'm just saying my master actually the other beds are fine but the master bedroom bed is super uncomfortable and i'm having to sleep on let me tell you a true story so i'm covering myself with this one and the off the only thing they offered me is this cover and this cover to put on top because this is a mattress but since it's super super you can feel the white like what do you call it? It's like, actually, they are putting three for me to sleep on. This is at the bottom. This is the bed. This is the actual bed. You can see the bed sheet. Now, when I complained, instead of them cho changing the mattress, they decided to give me three of these comforters to sleep on. Because the bed is uncomfortable, which is easier. Maybe giving me the three comforters is easier. If you sleep, if you lay on this mattress, by the time you wake up, your whole body hurts. I don't know how to put that in Swahili. It's like you're sleeping on an iron rod. It's like you're sleeping on a mattress that has no meat, that has no, no cushion. <laughs> meat. It has no cushion. These beds are not... Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. This mattress, that guy said they are called, I don't know, they are called what. And I said, uh-uh, you are, guys are killing your guests. Yeah? Maybe... And actually, the reason I'm saying that is because I talked to pe two people who, who lived here and they complained about the beds too. They said, ah, we love Ramata, but their beds. Oh, wee. So if the owner is watching this, just know that your beds are not very good, very comfortable. Mind about the house is super good. Everything is good. But the mattress happened in Mewangusha. I'm giving you one star for the mattress. I have to give good and bad reviews. So that someone can come here, don't say Betty did not tell us. You come to Ramata and ask about to try the beds.
If you don't, if you're not comfortable on the first day, you will not be comfortable for the rest of your stay. But I hear the one bedrooms, they have a smaller bed and it's comfortable. As I said, Darren's bed is a little comfortable and the other bed is comfortable, a little comfortable. Not too comfortable, but they are a little comfortable. But the master bed is bad. Why do I lie? I'm not living here for free. So when I give a review, I'm giving a review of something I paid for. And after all, it's not like that. He, I'm just trying to lie to people so that they can come. I'm not saying it's bad, you know. You know, when you're giving review, you're not telling people not to come. Come. But just so you know, the master bedrooms are not very comfortable. So at the hotel over there in Mombasa, as I said, we don't have house sleepers here. These are the only sleepers we have. And the rest of the people, when they come, the floor is cold and we don't have. So we ended up carrying the hotel sleepers because I don't know whether they recycle them or they reuse them. I don't know. I carried. If we stole them, I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is my shower, as you can see. Really good. The shower is good. The bathroom is good. Everything is good. Everything is taken care of. Clean, very clean. They offer towels. And I carried, I stole, I did not steal. I had paid at the hotel. Hey, do you know how much we paid? <laughs> Guys, the only thing I don't like about Kenya houses, most of their homes, they don't do good finishing. You can see. In the U.S., you cannot see anything like this. Ah, not unless you live in ghetto. U.S.A., to see something like this, the finishing. The house is super good, but the finishing is one thing I've noticed in Kenya. People don't worry so much about finishings. There is always something, you see? There is always something. And I'm not talking about this Airbnb. It's just everywhere. There is always that one finishing. The finishing, you see, this is what they call... These, these ones are perfect and they are beautiful. But then you find... Oh, these are safe. I've locked in my, my passport, my money, passport every the documents there so there's a safe and it works this safe works so i'm locking my stuff there i don't have to take everything to the village for them to keep for me okay. those dolls are acting up so you know now there's enough storage in the closet enough storage enough storage enough storage yes enough storage yeah this one need to be fixed it's broken but anyway, the, these Airbnbs are good. I mean, very, so far we are comfortable. And we don't need to use all this space. Even if, yeah. I think the owner need to do a little bit of maintenance, yeah? Because the way these doors are shaking, he needs to do maintenance. But honestly, he has tried. I can give it, I'm not going to give it five star. Uh, these apartments, I can give them, I can give them like four four star just because of the beds i'm giving them four just because of the beds but other than that it's a good area good location good apartments good uh good everything but not good beds and also the boiler let me give them 3.8 because of the boiler this boiler takes your electricity like you i mean you'll be lo you load up so much because of that boiler uh why lie why am i lying you know Come ready to load up. Maybe the one bedrooms don't have this, but anyway, guys, thank you for watching. That's the how. That's a house to. Oh, I haven't shown you the balcony. This is the best part of this house. Yeah, the balcony is the best. Uh, the best. The best. The best. Okay. Reason. Reason. I say the owner need to maintain this maintenance. Listen. Look, guys. You have to kick that door down there. You see what I just said about the finishings? Yeah? Finishings, those are most Kenyan homes. Finishings in Akwanga Zawana Sana. This is the outside. We are having breakfast here. Ah, this is good. Kids play. It's so beautiful. It's just that. It's just that uh, one, two, three is not perfect, but we are. Guy, I thought she's climbing there. You know, Naila can climb here. Naila, the day you will climb this place, never try. Do you hear me? Because you don't listen, mommy. Never climb here. What will happen if you climb? Fall down. Fall down and do what? And die. And die right away. And then we're going to put you in a hole. 
and we don't want that. God forbid, knock on the wood. Never, never try, mommy. Because I know you. Never try. Never, never try, mommy. Never try, okay? Oh, if you don't fall me, I don't know what I can do. So I think some people live here permanently. Uh, not like Some people live here permanently. Like that one, it's like they live here permanently. You can see all the plants, huh? You are, you are sure that person doesn't, doesn't come and go. If you see someone planting so many trees like that, just know they don't come and go. The other one here, akona kitu ya zake. You see, that's what you do. Instead of putting a line like those ones, so instead of hanging them like those ones, you just put them Mommy, here. But that cannot, acom- I cannot take so many clothes. Huh? I don't know the owner. So that's the rest of the B&Bs. No, I think those ones, people bought their homes and they live here permanently. Yeah, that's what most of the people, they live here permanently. And, <laughs> and some people do B&B, they rent. Yeah, very beautiful view from this point. You can see those ones on that side, they, li- they live here permanently. You can see, you can see plants here. Plants here in the order of the day. Hey, people love plants. Hey, what do you want to plants? It's very nice. It's a, as I said, it's a good location, good B&Bs. Yeah, you can see good people, good, ah, the security people are nice. They're all, the people who, who work here, they're excellent. Like, they're so good to you. They are not rude. They are not mean. Even if you complain, Atacama, they will just, they will just listen to you. I mean, for the people, for the workers, I give them five star. And for the neighbors, they mind their business and they, they live their lives, yeah? So it's, it's not a bad place to live. So guys, that's how we are in Kenya, Africa. Welcome to Nairobi. Good place to live, good Airbnbs. Just ask about the mattress and try it before you move in because you don't want to. Naila, that's your friends there. You want to <laughs> call their names? Naila, Alicia, Joanna. <laughs> yeah. Naila has, has made some friends here. 